at Axtria, we continue to be employee first and client centric. To that end, we're now entering our second week of working virtually as a company so that our employees can be safe and healthy at home. In our business, some accelerating trends uh, that reflect uh, adaption to these changing times. First of all, um, I'm so pleased to see the emergence of so many leaders in our organizations. These are folks that are stepping out in these uncertain times, uh, coming up with ideas, um, initiatives, programs to help not only our clients, but also our associates. Second thing I'm also seeing is a, an acceleration of digitization, not only of our clients' business, and we're seeing this with our platforms on sales IQ, the industrialization of analytics, but really the pandemic times are driving an acceleration in the digitization uh, of our business. One of the very first things we did when we learned about COVID-19 was we looked at how do we ensure that our employees stay safe? How are they safe and how are their families safe? Um, we have a lot of check steps in place. Our managers are reaching out to all of their direct reports on a daily basis, not only checking on the work they're doing, but more importantly, checking on how they're doing. Are they healthy? What is their mental state? Are their families happy? Are they able to cope with what's going on now? And we've put in a very big support system to help employees of Axtria be productive, um, but also understand that we care and we're there to help when we need to. Over the last few weeks, we have been busier than ever. Our clients are asking us a lot of important questions that will drive the health of their business and the health of the patients that they serve. We are helping our clients answer all of these very important business critical and mission critical questions. We're reaching out to our customers, we're seeing how they can, how we can help them. Or is there anything we can do to make things better for them? And that's not just in business, it's can we help with communication? Do they have loved ones that could be in a remote location they're having trouble getting access to? Um, any way we can help, we're willing to help the community because that's just how we operate. In the meanwhile, as we transition to the virtual and work from home environment, our business operations, IT operations and HR teams have done some really great and inspiring work over the last three or four weeks in getting us ready to operate. Trying to have a little bit of time with your team, uh, with your colleagues, with no agenda, you know. So using again, using the video conference, uh, have a time when you uh, coffee break or even a lunch uh, when you guys uh, can talk about anything you want. You know, you're going to meet at that time, uh, so you can you can kind of keep your your conversation for that, uh, and uh, and you know you're going to have this enjoyable moment uh, moment together. Something that you would normally do in the office, you you kind of recreate a little bit of that here at home. parents of young kids, uh, not only is it important for you to establish your own routine, uh, it is also important for you to establish your kids' routine. So I'm sure some of you are wondering that, how do you do that? I, I know it sounds difficult, but trust me, kids learn very fast. So, uh, you know, once you get them into the habit of a routine, it's easy on them, it's easy on you. You can, you know, you can easily sync your most productive hours uh, with their sleep time, uh, self-activity time and TV time. Having a set times. So having a set time when you start the day and a set time when you finish the day. And this helps you to make it, maintain a little bit of a distinction between your work and your family and your family time. Uh, and this is something working from home uh, can really, things can get mixed up quite a bit and it's important that you're able to make the distinction so that when you're, when you're working, you're at work, you're really focused only on work. You're, you're not getting distracted. And the same thing when you're with your family, you can actually be present in the moment with them and enjoy that time with them.
please please prioritize your health uh, as a mother of two and someone who has gone through a few complicated surgeries in life um i can tell you it's very very important to take care of your mental and physical health uh, you owe it to your family you owe it to your organization you owe it to yourself so on that note um, stay safe stay healthy stay positive take care